Yeah, speaking of uh, Black Country Communion, um, any chance for uh, for a comeback there? Well, I mean, there's always a chance you can win the lottery. Yeah. There's, there's always a chance that, that, that you'll be struck by lightning. You know, there's always a chance that, um, you know, whatever. You know, life is a game of chance. There is a, definitely a chance. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to wait too long on it. Um, I would make sure, you know... At the end of the day, the whole thing with Black Country Community was just, a, it, it boiled down to a simple, the simple fact of life that I couldn't commit to it full time. And that was fine, you know, and I was very upfront with everybody about it, that I could not commit to it full time. And some of the members understood that and some of them didn't. And, and, and it ca ca created this very stupid public rift, which was just stupid. Yeah. Um, I do, I do, you know, I've run into Glenn and Jason and Derek and all of those guys and um, subsequently, and Derek spent a year and a half in the band, my solo band, and um, we had this situation, you know, where I acted childish, Glenn acted childish, and we've, we've gone past that, you know, and, and I, I think it's a very special rock and roll band when all five of us get together, and I say five of us because there's four principal musicians and then there's Kevin Shirley who put it together and um, that's a special five group five you know five individuals when it's collectively all going in the same direction so I don't rule it out I don't I wouldn't want to wait 10 years I would I would do it sooner than later if we're going to do it I just don't know if there's any demand for it you know I mean that that was the other thing it wasn't like we were selling out arenas it was just we're playing a thousand seats 1500 seats and on a good day so I'm like is it really, I mean, I guess it's looked at now much fonder than I think it was looked at at the time. <laughs> well, but I enjoyed the, that show yeah, in, in the Opera House, I mean, to hear hard rock at that place. That, yeah, it that was very wacky. It seemed like a very strange place to do that band. And, you know, Glenn was, <laughs> he was like, we're the first rock and roll band uh, um, to play the Vienna Opera House, I'm like, Glenn, I think Pat Benatar was here like last <laughs> night. She was literally, I, I think there's still her, I can see her backstage pass is still on the wall. Anyway, doesn't matter. Hi, this is Joe Bonamassa, and I'm here in Vienna, Austria, one of my favorite cities in the world, and you are watching Mulachuk. Mulachuk!